Hello everyone, welcome to SVG channel. I'm your host Elena. Today I'm here interviewing the president of Canopy Group, Mr. Robert Perlstein. Robert has more than 20 years extensive experience in international business development. He's also the senior advisor of Launchingpad. Welcome Robert, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me today, Elena. It's great to be here. Robert, before you start the Canopy Group, you have served as the vice president of global business business development at Stanford Research Institute for more than 10 years. Could you share a little bit about your history with SRI? Yes, so I, uh, I worked for 10 years as the Senior Vice President of Global Business Development over at SRI, the Stanford Research Institute, mm -hmm. which is the, one of the largest uh, independent research and development institutions in the United States. Uh, it is a nonprofit and really focused on all different areas of technology, uh, be it artificial intelligence, advanced robotics, advanced materials. And uh, it was, you know, again, a great experience uh, there. Uh, I was there, um, uh, there were 30 laboratories there, and I represented all of them. Um, there were many, many things, great innovations that came out of SRI that you use every day, but you may not know it. Uh, as an example, uh, the computer mouse uh, was uh, one thing that was invented over at SRI in the 1960s, believe it or not. Uh, more recently, Siri for the iPhone uh, also came out of the artificial intelligence lab at SRI. Uh, medical robotics, um, everything from ultrasound, lo lots and lots of great innovations that came out and it was a, a really great experience for me. Awesome. Hmm. And besides being a successful entrepreneur and international business strategist, um, you're also the author of this book called Beat for Globo. <laughs> what motivated you to write this book? Oh, well, great. Well, thank you for that as well. No, it was uh, always a passion for me to write a book, Elena. Mm -hmm. um, you know, working over at SRI and other startups over the years, what you realize is that there's tons and tons of great technology and great innovation, but oftentimes the hard part is navigating what we call the technology valley of death. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but about 98% of all science and technology that's invented in the laboratory never gets to market to have a positive impact upon society. And, um, and you know, that's really what I wanted to do as part of the book, was to sort of write and give guidance typically to you know, you know, researchers and developers that are looking to try to transition their technology into the global market. And with the help of Launching Pad, this book has been translated into Chinese and published in China. Could you talk about your collaboration with Launching Pad? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, it's been a fantastic experience working with Launching Pad in that, um, you know, all the things that I'm saying also apply to both in the past and, and more so in the future in China. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, being able to work with Launching Pad to be able to have the book translated into Chinese and we, we've had such great interest uh, with regards to this. You know, China obviously is, is the global engine of manufacturing in the world and is rapidly moving into this new era of innovation. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and being able to participate with that by, in collaboration with Launching Pad has been just a tremendous thing for me. Oh, wow. And talking about the COVID-19 pandemic, it has created um, new barriers for mm -hmm. global expansion. Do you think we have a lasting impact on globalization? I think, uh, well, the uh, pandemic has been obviously something very difficult for all of us, you know, around the globe. And I, and I think that near term, you know, it's obviously going to continue. But, but I think longer term, though, you know, the world unto itself is, is very resilient. And I do think that, you know, we will get over this and we'll get past it together. Uh, you know, and, and I think in both as a, as, a, as a global community as well, not just the United States, not just China, not just Europe, but together. But I, but I do think, though, that in time, uh, things will absolutely improve and will slowly get back to normal. Mm -hmm, definitely. Two years ago, you started your own, your own company yes. uh, called the Canopy Group. And uh, could you talk about your company and your future plans? Oh, absolutely. Yes, no. So in similar fashion to what I was doing over at the Stanford Research Institute was to help you know, take advanced technology, advanced science to the global market. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I'm doing right now is, is exactly that, but as an independent company. Uh, so I started Canopy Group to work with different companies around the world to help them with commercialization of their early uh, innovations and early breakthrough technology. Uh, you know, today I'm working with um, organizations like Sony Group, where uh, some of you might know of Sony for making computer devices and movies. 
But believe it or not, uh, Sony was able to take its laser technology for their CDs uh, uh, called Blu-ray, and they've been able to extend that technology, that laser, where it's now able to go from a fraction of a millimeter to many thousands of kilometers, 5,000 kilometers. But then the question is, then what do you do with it? What do you do with it? And um, what we've been working on together is to now pivot that into inter-satellite communications using the similar technology that you might see in your CD, but now it's going to be in outer space. But to say, though, uh, you know, I'm working with Honda on a you know, commercialization of flexible batteries and another company out of Brazil had to harvest uh, radio frequency uh, energy from the air to power our IoT devices and our mobile phones. But again, I'm working with many, many companies both here in the United States, in Asia, in Europe, in South America, on, in these different areas. So it's been a very exciting time. You know, I've been working very, very closely with Launchingpad for us to help in understanding you know, what uh, promising technologies are coming out of China, of which there are many, uh, in the areas of robotics, artificial intelligence, computer vision, advanced materials, and then be able to reach to those organizations to identify ways to help in the commercialization of that technology. And also, of course, many larger Chinese companies are looking for ways to innovate as well in how could they invest into uh, different, uh, say, startup companies here in Silicon Valley and other things. And I think that Launchingpad, as the name explains, really acts as this center point, this, air, uh, this uh, organization for collaboration in both of what I like to call both uh, inside out, where we could identify interesting technologies within Chinese companies and help them with innovation and commercialization, but also outside in, meaning that how do we identify emerging technologies, emerging startups that also make sense and are a good fit. And, and again, in many ways, Launchingpad is acting as that wonderful conduit uh, for making that happen. Mm. Thank you. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you, Elena. Thank you so much. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe SVG channel. I'll see you again in our next video.